Doorway to Mexico, the photo ops episode. In today's podcast, we ask someone to take a photo of our family in front of the ancient Mayan pyramids in Chiapas, Mexico. Hola y bienvenidos al Portal del Español de México, the doorway to Mexican Spanish. Me llamo Paulina, ¿qué tal? ¿Cómo estás? I'm a Spanish teacher from Mexico City and I'm delighted to host this podcast program. Doorway to Mexico is specifically designed with intermediate and advanced students in mind to increase their comfort level with conversational Spanish from Mexico and Latin America. What you hear on our podcast may not always be grammatically correct, but it's how real people actually speak. In this podcast, you'll meet my real-life student Michael and his family as they travel through Mexico and engage in conversations with locals from different regions of the country. As always, we'll listen to the dialogue first. Afterward, we'll listen to the beginning of my roundtable discussion with Michael and his wife Julie. Okay, so here we go. Remember, don't worry if you cannot understand much during your first listen. Just relax, sit back, and check out the bonus materials on our website for the full translation. Bueno, empecemos con el episodio. Escucha bien. Oh, this would be such a nice shot of our whole family, right here in front of the pyramid. We could use it for a holiday card. Um, let's ask someone to take our picture with your new camera, Michael. Oh, really, Mom? Oh, come on, Danny. Michael, um, ask that girl right there. Yeah, sure. Oye, disculpa, ¿nos podría sacar una foto a mí y a mi familia y que salga la pirámide, por favor? Ah, sí, claro, no se preocupe. Oh, great, yeah, okay, let's get together, guys. Again? Uh, don't worry, Dan, it'll only take a second. Yeah, yeah, come on, there you go. Okay. Okay, ya nos puedes tomar la foto cuando quieras. Solo tienes que oprimir el botón negro de arriba. Okay. Ay, óigame, señor. No está prendida su cámara. <laughs> <laughs> nice one, Dad. Oh, ay, perdona. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Yeah, pues, pícale al botón rojo por tres segundos y ya se prende. Ah, ya, ya, sí, ya prendió. Pero bueno, acérquense más, sin pena, son familia, órale, para que salgan todos acá, juntitos. Yeah, come on, bring it in closer, guys. Come on, Danny, you're still standing too far away, honey. Okay. Okay, ¿así está bien? Oye, ¿y sale mi hija en la foto? No, la verdad, solo sale la mitad de ella. Podría acercarse más usted, para que no salga toda mochada. Okay, gracias. No, come on, you gotta scooch in a little bit more, honey. Oh my goodness. That's it, there you go. ¿Cómo se ve ahora? ¿Sale la pirámide? Sí, ya está. ¿Listos? Ajá, uh -huh. sí, sí, gracias. Go ahead. Okay, no se muevan. A la cuenta de tres. Uno, dos, sonrían. Ya, ya salió. Muy bien, muchas gracias. ¿Quieren que les tome otra en caso de que no les haya gustado esta? Oh, uh, you want to take one more, honey, just in case? Oh, please, no. Uh, sí, gracias. But I feel like I'm squinting. Maybe let's move into the shade this time. Mm -hmm, good idea. Okay, si no es mucha molestia, sí, otra por favor. Pero esta vez en la sombra, para no tener el sol en nuestros ojos, ¿ok? Sí, claro, no se preocupe. Por 30 dólares le saco todas las que quieran acá, todo profesional y todo. Yeah. <laughs> es broma, ¿eh? <laughs> <laughs> sí, qué graciosa. Bueno, vámonos a la sombra, ¿ok? Let's get over to the shade, guys. Danny, she seems really nice. You should make friends. Oh, come on, Mom. Ah, pues, perdona por tomar tu tiempo. Y gracias por las fotos. ¿Mm? No, ¿cómo cree? No se preocupe. Mi familia y yo aquí solo andamos turisteando. Pero ahorita ellos se fueron de paseo, así que, pss, no tengo prisa. Ah, ok. Uh, ¿De dónde eres? Vivo en Mexicali, pero a mi mamá le encanta traernos a Chapas cada vez que puede. Y pues yo fascinada, la verdad. Chapas es uno de mis lugares favoritos de México. ¿Y ustedes de dónde son? Mm, oh, somos americanos. Ah, ok. De hecho, esta es nuestra primera vez aquí y está increíble. Órale. Eh, ok, este se ve como un buen lugar. ¿Cómo ves? Ok, muy bien. This is a good spot, right, honey? This is perfect. Muchas gracias. ¿Cómo te llamas? Licha a su servicio. ¿Qué hay de ustedes? Uh, me llamo Julie y ella es mi hija, Daniel. Hola. Hola, mucho gusto. Ay, perdón por mis papás. No, para nada. <ríe> si son bien alivianados. No te preocupes. Y cuéntame, ¿ya estás en la prepa? Pues sí, ¿y tú? Sí, también. Pero gracias a Dios que ya solo tengo un año más en ese infierno. Y ya, me salgo. <ríe> ¿Cuántos años tienes? 
16, ¿y tú? Acabo de cumplir 17 hace dos semanas. Este viaje es como mi regalo. Mm. ¿Y qué piensas de México? ¿A poco no está padrísimo, eh? ¿Eh? Ah, no me mientas. Oh, me encanta. Oye, mi tía va a tener una fiesta en su restaurante. ¿Quieres venir? Uh. Tu familia también, por supuesto, está invitada. Así que, ¿qué? ¿Qué te parece? Oh, sí. Claro, gracias. No hay de qué. Le pregunto a mi papá, ¿ok? Claro que sí. Ok, you guys ready? Este es el lugar perfecto para la foto, ¿verdad? Sí, perfecta elección, señor. ¿Listos para la foto más asombrosa de su vida? <risa> sí, adelante. Ok, uno, dos, ¡sonrían! Hola nuevamente, soy Paulina, tu anfitriona, y espero que hayas disfrutado mucho del episodio de hoy. I really hope so. And remember to get the most out of this podcast. Be sure to head over to doorwaytomexico.com for our exclusive online bonus materials. On our website, you'll find all the translations, vocabulary lessons, and tips for the cultural expressions from today's episode. And remember that it takes time and practice to become comfortable with a new language and culture. You have to be patient and be gentle with yourself. With our podcast and bonus materials, you'll be more ready for all kinds of conversations and situations with native Mexican Spanish speakers. Y bueno, ahora vámonos a la plática. Hola, bienvenidos. Hola, Michael. Hola, Julie. ¿Cómo están? I'm very well. Thank you. How are you? Muy bien. Gracias. Hola, Paulina. Hola, bienvenidos. Gracias por invitarnos, como siempre. Estamos sí. muy contentos de estar aquí. Muy bien. Right, so today we're talking about the episode where we ask someone to take a photo of us, something my wife loves to do. Yes. Why don't you go ahead, honey? I know you had a question right off the bat. Yeah, Paulina, I wanted to ask you, whenever Michael and I travel with Danny, um, it seems like I always have a lot of pictures of Michael and Danny and very few of me with Michael and Danny because someone has to take the picture. Okay. So um, it's always nice to be able to ask someone else if they can take a picture of us. I wanted to ask, what are the different ways in which uh, we can ask someone to take a picture of us? Yeah, so podrías decir, oiga, disculpe, ¿nos podría hacer el favor de tomarnos una foto, por favor? Nos podría hacer el favor, meaning, could you do us the favor de tomarnos una foto, of taking our photo. That's a really nice, polite way to do it. What else, mm -hmm. might, what else could you do? Bueno, oiga, disculpe, eh, quisiéramos tomarnos una foto... Usted podría tomarnos mm -hmm. una. We'd like you to take a picture, please. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I noticed you're using the verb tomar una foto. Uh, in school, way, way, way back, I learned the verb sacar una foto. They also say that in Mexico, right? Eh, sí, sí. Could you give me an example? Of... Mm -hmm. Por ejemplo, tú podrías decir, oigan, hay que sacarnos una foto con el mar de fondo. Oigan, hay que sacarnos una foto. Uh -huh. Like, hey, let's all take a picture. Con el mar de fondo, with the with the ocean in the background. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sí. I noticed that you're using the uh, you're starting off with oiga, disculpe, sí. mm -hmm. which um, which is interesting because I hear it a lot, but oiga literally translates as listen. Uh, that's listen, how they that's yeah. how it's taught. Oh yes, sí. right. They yeah. teach it as like listen, oiga. Mm -hmm. But um, I noticed that you use it a lot, and people in Latin America use it a lot, almost as a way to say excuse me. Sí. Right? Because in English, I don't think I would necessarily go to someone and say, um, you wouldn't say, listen, excuse me, could you take a picture of us? No, it sounds weird, right? Yeah, no, I wouldn't say that. I think if it was a stranger, I might not even say, hey, can you... Right, that's a good point, because I know oiga and oye are sometimes translated as hey. But actually, I, I guess in certain contexts, oiga and oye, they don't really mean hey or listen. It's it's sort of a more of a polite word, and it's used just all the time. Sí, exacto. Sí, y si tú usas oiga, está bien. Es, es, estás usando el usted formal, mm -hmm. preguntándole a alguien, y, y está bien. And it's not like saying hey to no. some guy, because in English it's a little informal. Ya, yeah, sería hey. más si usas el tú, el tú mm -hmm. ¿no? familiar, si dices, oye, disculpa, es más informal. Sin embargo, si es, si es una persona joven, por mm -hmm. ejemplo, si es un adolescente a quien quieres pedirle que te tome la foto, si sí puedes decir, oye, disculpa, ¿podrías hacernos el favor de tomarnos una foto? Ok, so, oye, disculpa, it's just a nicer way to say, hey, excuse me. Oye, disculpa, ¿podrías hacernos el favor de tomarnos una foto? Like, is, hey, pardon me, could you take us, uh, would you do us the favor of taking a photo of us? Uh -huh. It just adds a little bit of the, uh, a little emphasis to the pardon me or excuse me. Sí, 
Yeah. Is, is the word kind of like a pardon me? Well, that would be a, a disculpe. Disculpe, yeah. Yeah. So yeah, the disculpe is the actual excuse me or pardon yeah, me. Yeah, it's exactly. an interesting word. So what does oi, oiga mean? Well, I guess it's kind of hard to it, translate because literally it means listen. And figuratively, it sort of means hey. But it's it's used in all different kinds of contexts. It's used a lot to just to get to people's attention, I think. Yeah. It's like getting the attention of the person, mm -hmm. no? Like, oiga disculpe. Inter it's an interesting word. I don't know that we have a, an equivalent. I agree. Yeah. It's one of those hard Not words to exactly translate. Yeah. Y es una palabra, como dices, Michael, que usamos mucho para iniciar una conversación o para hacer una pregunta. Uh, yeah, yeah, that's exactly right. Like to begin a question. I remember we were at the airport in Mexico and we were standing in line for something to eat or something. And someone had came up and asked me if I was waiting in line. And I, I do remember they said, oiga, I can't remember exactly. How, how do you say, uh, are you waiting in line? Está formado? Yeah, está formado. Yeah, está formado. That's it. You could also say, if you wanted to ask someone if they're staying in line, couldn't you also say, uh, oiga, disculpe, está haciendo cola? I think that's how I originally learned it anyway. También. También Same está thing. haciendo cola. Uh -huh. Muy bien. So continuing with, with this oiga, oye thing, what would be a good way to ask someone, like, if you go to a restaurant and you wanted to say, hey, is, um, excuse me, is someone sitting here? Eh, si es una persona joven, dijéramos si es una chica joven, podrías decirle, oye, disculpa, ¿hay alguien sentado aquí? Oye, disculpa, ¿hay alguien sentado aquí? And that's just a very natural sounding way to say, excuse me, is anyone sitting here? Mm -hmm. Oye, disculpa. Sí, es como... Yeah, una forma de ser eh, amable. Mm -hmm. ¿no? Alguien que no conoces mm -hmm. también. Mm, just getting, I have one more question. Getting back to, like, if I wanted to ask someone that I didn't know, um, excuse me, are you in line? Is it okay to say oiga without disculpe? Like, oiga, ¿está formado? Is that appropriate and does that sound okay? Sí, puedes decir, oiga, ¿está formado? Sí. And it still es sounds... Más, es más um, amable usar el disculpe. So oiga, adding disculpe, disculpe okay, that está adds. formado. Sobre todo si no es una persona joven. So it's it's acceptable to to just use oiga by itself, but putting oiga and disculpe is just another natural and polite way to, to sí, ask a question. Exacto. Mm -hmm. that, that actually brings me to my next question from your language bonus notes, because I, I, I had used the word oye when I started a, a question. I'd like you to play the part where, where we use the verb salir, both me and, and the girl, Licha, that we asked to take our picture. Mm -hmm. You know, because salir is one of those verbs that has so many different meanings and so many different uses. And sometimes it gets me a little bit confused. I'm glad you put this in the bonus notes. Okay, uh, the part I'm talking about is where I asked her if, if Danny was coming out in the picture okay. Could you play that for us? Sí, claro. A ver, aquí te la pongo. Oye, ¿y sale mi hija en la foto? No, la verdad, solo sale la mitad de ella. Podría acercarse más usted. Para que no salga toda mochada. Wow, those birds, huh? Sí, sí. Yeah, that was really quick. Play it one more time, okay, please? Okay, ya. Yeah. Oye, ¿y sale mi hija en la foto? No, la verdad, solo sale la mitad de ella. Podría acercarse más usted para que no salga toda mochada. Sí, gracias. Yeah, so I used oye to ask my question. I said, oye, ¿y sale mi hija en la foto? Which means like, hey, and is my daughter coming out in the photo? sí. And then she uses the verb salir again in the same context when she said, no, la verdad, solo sale la mitad de ella. So like, no, um, actually, only half of her is coming out, sale. Sí, exacto. Then she used the verb salir again when she said, podría acercarse más usted para que no salga toda mochada. Sí. I'll ask you about mochada in a second, because <laughs> I love the way that sounds. But um, she said... Could you guys all squeeze together or get closer together mm -hmm. para que no salga toda mochada? Sí. In order that you don't all come out mochada. Mm -hmm. What sí. the heck is mochada? <laughs> so, yeah, mochada is una palabra. Queridos amigos, pues that's the end of my discussion with Michael and Julie for this conversation. Espero que te la hayas pasado muy bien, que la hayas disfrutado, because I had a lot of fun making it for you. Thank you so much for taking the time to be with me here at Doorway to Mexican Spanish. I really love being able to share this beautiful language with serious students like you. And remember, if you ever want to sign up for personal online lessons, you can reach me on our website for more information. Y bueno, como siempre, me dio muchísimo gusto haber estado contigo compartiendo este momento. Espero que muy pronto vengas a visitar mi país bellísimo para que puedas conocer más de nuestras tradiciones, de la cultura, la comida y, por supuesto, para que sigas practicando y aprendiendo el español. Hasta entonces. Adiós. <risa>